Hello friends and Margaret Spells TV family. I hope you are keeping well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to this family and community. I promised I'll be back with God Said Part 2 and here I am by the grace of God. It will not be right to dive straight into this new content without reminding myself and yourself of what is in part one. I shared the first four statements and what God said in the beginning of time as he created the heavens and the earth. It is worth stating the gospel of John chapter 1 verses 1 to 5. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Verse 2. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In verse 4. In him was life. And that life was the light of the mankind. Of all mankind. And the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not overcome it. I say hallelujah to that. I just want us to reflect for a minute or so. I will also be silent as I practice hearing from God. We need to read the word, assimilate it, reflect on it, and just think about it. So I'm going to be silent just for a few seconds as we meditate on those verses. In the beginning was the word. right that was good it wasn't easy sometimes or oh, it's not easy sometimes to remain silent but i want us to learn how to remain silent in the presence of god as we meditate on his words as well in essence the word god said in the beginning was in fact him did you realize that did you ponder on that while we remain silent god is the word what a mystery if I've learned anything is that God can never deny his words. God can never deny himself. And therefore, what God says concerning you and I shall surely come to pass. God is not a man that he should lie, not the son of man that he should repent. The word of God shall become flesh and manifest in our lives in Jesus' name. I am super excited. I'm always excited when I remember his promises. Hallelujah. In my last content, we looked at the first four God said, yes. Number one, let number one, let there be light, and the light came. Number two, let there be separation between waters and ocean. Number let there be separation between waters and there was separation. Number three, let the water under the sky be gathered to one place. And let dry ground appear. And it was so. Then God saw that it was good. Are you excited? Because I am. Number four, God said, let the land produce vegetation. Seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it. According to their various kinds. And we pray together. I love praying and conversing with God. Yet listening and looking out to his responses. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 14, and God said, this is number 5, God said, Let there be light in the vault of the sky to separate the day from the night and let them serve as signs to mark sacred times and days and years. Verse 15, and let there be light in the vaults of the sky to give light to the earth. And it was so, verse 16, God made two great lights. The greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars, verse 17. God set them in the vault of the sky to give light to the earth. 
verse 18, to govern the day and the night and to separate light from darkness. Did you hear that? And God saw that it was good. Verse 19, and there was evening and there was morning. The fourth day, that was the fourth day. I come to remind you and remind myself of seasons of life. Seasons of life. Yes, you heard me. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says that there is a time for everything, day and night. Remember, when God was creating it, he created day and night. And a season for every activity under the heavens. I therefore pray that you will not miss any of your appointed times and seasons in Jesus' name. And where they have been missed, or seas where they have been missed seasons and appointments, God who rules in the affairs of men will restore you and the name of Jesus. Yes. And where there have been missed seasons and appointments, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 3 verse 1 says, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. I therefore pray that you will not miss any of your appointed times and seasons in Jesus' name. And where they have been missed seasons and appointments, God who rules in the affairs of men will restore you in Jesus' name. You will laugh and testify of your testimonies of restoration in Jesus' name. I pray the same for myself and for you as well. And I say a resounding amen. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 20, And God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. Verse 21, So God created the great creatures of the sea, and every living thing with which the water teems, and that moves about in it according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 22, God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And it takes me nicely to Psalm 71 verse 21. I read the New King James's version. You shall increase in greatness and comfort me on every side. Yes, you shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. You shall increase in greatness and God will comfort you on every side. Therefore, I pray for you and myself. I decree and I declare increase spiritually, financially, materially, gains and profits, increase in comfort, joy, peace, perfect health, increase in vision, increase in the wisdom of God. You want to decree areas of increase that you want God to increase you in and increase me as well. I decree over you and over myself. What you desire, God will bring them to pass in the name of Jesus. I say a massive amen. In Genesis chapter 1 verse 24, and God said, let the lamb produce living creatures. In Genesis 24, and God said, let the lamb produce living creatures according to their kind. The livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. Listen, Margaret Spells TV family, I decree into your life and my life that the earth shall continually yield its increase for us in Jesus' name. Let every land we step on cooperate with us for good in the name of Jesus. Let every land favor us. We will possess every land as inheritance in the name of Jesus Christ. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, then God said, Let us make mankind in our image. In our likeness, so that they may rule. I therefore decree that you shall be head and not tail, above and not beneath. So also your generations and my generations, you will not be less than, I will not be less than what God destined you and I to be in the name of Jesus. I say a massive amen to that in Jesus' name. And lastly, and lastly in Genesis chapter 1 verse 29, then God said, I give you every seed bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it they will be yours for food and in verse 30 and to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move on the ground everything that has breath of life in it i give every green plant for food and it will so take possession beloved of the lord and it will so beloved of the lord take possession occupy take your position on earth i take my place and my position on earth and in god's kingdom in jesus name yes margaret spells tv family the conclusion of this god said episode is that he has given you and i the same power to utter 
and call what you desire into existence using the name of Jesus Christ. And according to his will and purpose of our lives, those things shall come to pass in Jesus' name. I believe what God says in his words concerning me. I believe with you too. You have a part to play by believing it too. Believe in Jesus. And if you don't know him, I am inviting you into the best family in the world. Acknowledge your sins. Ask God to forgive your sins. Invite Jesus Christ into your heart and accept him as your Lord and Savior. Welcome into the joy of salvation. It's the best family. I enjoy being his child and enjoying his benefits. And I'm asking you to come into the fellowship and kingdom with me and enjoy the same thing that I am enjoying in Christ Jesus. Yes, I am enjoying him. Look for a Bible believing church near you to fellowship. Please read and pray every day and grow in God. God bless you. I thank you for spending your time with me today. It's been a lovely time and reminder for me too. Until we meet again, please take care of yourself and each other. I leave you the peace of God that passes all human understanding despite the chaos all over the world. The peace of God will permeate every area of your life and my life in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Bye-bye for now. Bye.